Hey what's up guys, Alex or Robot here today and I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial on um, it's a sort of Battlefield 3 style text effect um, I uploaded this in the past but it was known as an LCD text effect it's a shame the audio went a bit dodgy so I had to take it down and I'm going to re-upload it again with a bit of better luck hopefully so we're going to open Photoshop and create a new document and I'm going to put this as 1920 by 1080 and just click OK and just a tip for you, I know on Mac you get these floating windows a lot and I don't particularly like it so if you want to create a more CS6 style um, like where it's all one interface then just go to window and tick application frame down here and you'll see that that brings it so you can um, zoom in and out without it resizing and it's all just one one big user interface which is pretty nice um, so first of all I'm just going to double click the background layer and click OK and then double click it again and we're going to add a gradient overlay change the style to reflected reverse it so the white is in the middle and I'm going to increase the scale to about 120 and then add a color overlay add that right to black and then just bring it down to about 90 90 yeah that'll do Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add our text and I'm going to use a font called Big Noodle Titling and that is, there we go. Um, so it sort of looks like the Battlefield 3 text anyway. I'm just going to increase the size. Type whatever you want here, it doesn't really make a difference. And I'm just going to put this in the centre. So I'm going to drag some guides down and just wait till they snap in the center of the background but if you're if you you have to make sure you've selected the background layer for this otherwise they'll snap into the middle of the text and then just drag the battlefield until it snaps into the middle like that and I'm going to hide the guides a few clear guides and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the background layer effects and just press control J on the text layer and drag the copy behind the text, double click it and click color overlay and just hide that for a second. And now what we're going to do, we've got two copies of the text, you have to press control T and just move it in a little bit like that and then space it out so it sort of gives it a 3D effect. And then you, you can use, hold down alt and just press the left and right arrows to give it a bit more depth and then you'll have a lot of copies but what you want to do is you can put the layer effects back on the background now if you want if it's going to let me do that okay there we go and you can see it's sort of not a major difference um, but what you want to do is select all the copies by holding down shift and clicking on the bottom one and then click to the top one and it should select them all and then you want to go to layer and merge layers if I can find it there we go and that should create a non-editable text like 3D backdrop sort of thing so now you want to double click it again select the colour as black add a drop shadow and then click OK and we're going to click on the double click on the text layer we're going to add an outer glow of white and we're going to leave the blend mode at screen, the opacity at 75, I'm going to move the size up a bit depending on how big your canvas is um, obviously if you're working on a small canvas 5 will probably be alright for you, 5 will probably be alright for you sorry I'm going to go on inner glow and we're going to change the colour to white move the opacity up and we're going to bring the size down to about 10 I'm going to go to gradient overlay and then we're going to bring the opacity down on the gradient overlay to about 15 and I'm going to add a bevel and emboss put the depth all the way up size all the way down and I'm going to make the black zero the normal highlight colour I'm going to make the highlight mode normal colour white and opacity all the way up ok so now we've got our basic text there it doesn't look too fantastic at the moment so now what we want to do is we want to go to this little semicircle down here and we want to click it and click gradient map 
and that should automatically bring up the white to black standard gradient map um, if you click on it or reverse it it will look pretty much the same as what we had before we added it um, but we don't want to reverse it we want to click on this gradient here and we want to I'm going to use this gradient map if you don't have it what you want to do is just make this color your primary color 403931 click OK you want to make your secondary color 00BAFF now if you didn't quite catch those you can always pause the video and just take a closer look at this because the video will be in 1080p um, and when you've got that gradient just add one of those and we want to add yet another gradient map of exactly the same gradient and you want to set the first one to overlay and set the second one to lighter color and bring the opacity down to 50%. Now you can see it's sort of got an, a sort of blue tint to the um, to the uh, text now, which is sort of what we're going for. Um, you want to create some scan lines over the text. I'm just going to increase the outer glow a little bit for this because you want the scan lines to have a really nice effect. I'm just going to play around with these to get the kind of effect you want. Um, none of these are amazing. We'll have to go with that one, I guess. Okay. So I'm just going to click. I'm going to bring the size down to about 13. Just click OK. And then what we want to do is we want to go to File, New. And I'm going to create a... 2 pixel width by an 8 pixel height and click OK. Now it doesn't really matter what size you go for here for scan lines because you can always resize the sort of um, you can always resize it in the scale for the pattern. So you want to select exactly half which for me is going to be 4 pixels but it should be pretty evident um, when you've got half and then you just want to press backspace to delete it and then if yours is white if it's um, if it's white then you can just do what I'm doing, if it's black then you can, you're can. you ready to skip to the next step here. Um, what you want to do is press command or control and press I so that will invert it or you can go to image um, I think it's an adjustments invert yeah adjustments invert um, so you want half black and half transparent and then you want to go to select all go to edit define pattern and can just call it scan lines and then click back to your battlefield 3 text effect and you want to go to this little semicircle down here and click pattern and as you'll see my scan lines comes up straight away I think these lines are a little bit too thick so I'm just going to resize them down to 80% scale and then click OK and you want to set the blend mode to overlay and just bring that down to 50% Personally, I'm going to leave that about 80% because I think it looks quite like quite a nice text effect there. And then above the gradient maps, actually, um, just above the pattern, I'm going to go gradient on this little semicircle. And as you'll see, even though this is a white gradient, it's gone very sort of blue on the um, faded areas because of the gradient maps. So that's the effect they have on the text, which looks really nice. I'm just going to bring both colors to black. And I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to click Radial, scale it up to 150 and reverse it. And I'm just going to bring it behind the text, actually. Just because that fades out the scan lines, which we don't really want unless they're around the text. So, um, yeah, now that's looking pretty good. Um, there's only, there's not really much we need to do. It's mainly just effects around this now. So I'm going to add a new text layer. <coughs> And I'm going to type in Battlefield again. But I'm going to put a 3 on the end of it, why not? And I'm going to bring the size up to about 400, which is huge. Um, so now this is just a white text layer. You want to sort of center it around your original text layer. Set the blend mode to overlay, and you shouldn't be able to see it very well. Um, if you press Command or Control J, 
That should give you a better effect. And now you just want to control and click both layers so they're both selected and go to layer, merge layers. And that's going to take them off overlay, which is annoying. Um, okay, so you want to leave them on normal then. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're just going to bring the size well down to about 4.2, I went with. And then we're going to set the blend mode to overlay and just layer, duplicate layer. There we go. And I'm going to leave it as that. And then you should just be able to see a faint text just there. And that's pretty much the text effect done. What you can do if you want to add further effects, if you go to Battlefield and then Rasterize Layer, you want to duplicate that and just bring it behind the first layer, not that it should make much of a difference there. You want to get your soft eraser tool, so just click on the eraser. 473 is about fine, I'm just going to erase the end here. And then what you want to do is add a Gaussian blur again to that layer and bring the opacity down to about 60, actually about 30. And then you can just soft erase like special areas of the text that you want to bring an emphasis to. And that creates a sort of hazy effect. But I'm just going to see if you create a new layer, fill it with white, and then go to filter, render clouds, and then set the blend mode to overlay. And bring it below the pattern and everything. That also creates a really nice effect. So um, if you guys want to try that, feel free. Uh, if not, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please leave a like and a comment. I've been trying to get this up for some of you. Um, if you could leave a like and a comment, possibly favourite it or subscribe, that would be great. Um, if not, then I'll see you in an up and coming video soonish, hopefully. Okay, bye.